Salutation my calm men, how you guys doing? I'm 20 now. Well, I was 20 in the 24th of October. But you know. Hey, do you know what I've realised, right? This is our first vlog that I've done in this the new flat this year. Um, welcome to my flat. <laughs> Anyways, I got kind of distracted. What was my point? Oh yeah, this video is just basically me just talking to you guys and it's about growing up and friends, you know? I've been living here in Salford, just 30 minutes away from Manchester, for almost two years now. Obviously, go back home for summer. But living out here, I've grown as a person and I've realised how much I've changed and and what kind of person I am, what kind of person I've become. You know, for my birthday, I didn't really do much. I just pretty much stayed at home, just chilled. Oh, bloody hell. He, uh... Sorry about that. My friend, uh, my friend Liam just sort of texted me and my phone fell off. Cheers Liam, with a Y. <laughs> I've realised as a person I've become a bit more recluse. I don't really socialise as much, but I'm just pretty much like an old man. I go to bed really early, I wake up super early. Interesting fact for you guys by the way, the most successful people in the world like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, they uh, wake up before 6am. They have that tunnel vision mindset. They can do whatever they want, you know, because they don't have anyone distracting them early in the morning. And by the time it's like afternoon time, they've got most of the stuff that they're doing sorted. A lot of people tend to ask me, Abdin, is university worth going? And my answer to that is, the most important thing so far I've learned from going to university is the networking aspect of it and also immersing myself in different cultures and different situations and all these different places where I would never usually be you know I, I, I'm outside my comfort zone but then I'm also experimenting and realizing what I do like and all the new things that I do grow accustomed to one of the things that me and my cousin Yusuf we were talking about was how much we enjoyed using chopsticks growing up from Burnley we don't really use chopsticks like where where enough we would use chopsticks you know, he was just telling me how he uses chopsticks for pretty much everything. So do I. It's really fun to play around with. And you know how the grown ups say don't play around with your food? Well, with chopsticks, you can't do that. But how good is that, you know? And it's something that me and my cousin didn't know about each other and we didn't know about ourselves that we enjoyed uh, playing around with. But yeah, that, that would be my advice for you guys. Try out new things, basically. My other topic of advice is basically friends and how much I've realised that as you grow older, you kind of grow apart from your friends. And it's not necessarily a bad thing and it's pretty normal, it's natural. But I really wish someone told me that when I was younger, how much you kind of go on different pathways away from your friends. And it's not because of, oh, they live so far away and uh, I never get to see them. Well, that is included. But if you're really tight friends, then you'll always be tight. You know, my cousin Yusuf, he studies in Liverpool and I live pretty much better than a walk away from Manchester. Whenever we do visit each other, we click instantaneously. It's, you know, it's a beautiful thing. I, I know a lot of you guys that are in college, sixth form or high school, are in your group of friends, you know, your massive friendship circle with 13 members or whatever. But then, you, you know, as you grow up, you realise that you only have like one or two proper friends that you're really tight with. And that's perfectly fine, you know, as long as you're happy and as long as you make each other happy, that's all cool. I haven't chilled with my friends quite recently, but I do uh, cherish a lot of the moments when I'm with them. Cousin, for example, Yusuf, he's such a dick. But I love that dick, you know? Wait, I I know you do, baby. <laughs> right, okay. He's, he's a prick, but he's a lovely prick. You know, I love my cousin Yusuf, you know? He's been in a lot of my videos in the past. And I don't think you guys have really seen him because they've been private on listed videos. But a lot of sketches and stuff like that he's been involved with. So we've pretty much bonded throughout those experiences. That's something, you know, I cherish those memories. And so I would advise for you guys to do something not similar, like make YouTube videos like me. But if you want to, well, go ahead. But, you know, like do something that uh, connects you guys. I know that um, whenever I visit my cousin, we always got Archie's. And it's become a bit of a tradition now. Archie's actually, uh, what is it? It's like a... It's not a cafe. We, you can get milkshakes, but you can get burgers as well, like Americanized and so on, halal as well. But that's what we tend to do. We were talking a while back ago, right? and we were saying how um, it's quite difficult to make friends in our kind of position. I mean, we do have the time, it's just that we don't kind of want to. We just invest ourselves in our work and what we're doing. And me, for example, I tend to make new friends with people that I'm working with. That's how pretty much me and my cousin, we pretty much bonded, you know? We were really tight when we were younger. When we were in high school, we pretty much bonded throughout the art, throughout music and art, most creative things, basically. 
and it's something that I would uh, advise a lot of you guys. If you want your old friends to be your you know, everlasting friends or whatever, and you do new activities that last and are fun because we don't want that friend that is just a memory friend. Oh, do you remember when we did this? Do you remember when we did that? We kind of want to make new memories together. So that's what we kind of realized. And I, that's my advice I would give to you guys. You know, if you kind of want to bond with your friend and make some more time with your friends, uh, just basically do more activities together and create new memories. And uh, this is a pretty much cheesy video, but I just me talking. But uh, that would be my advice to you guys, basically. It's just, uh, you know, cherish those moments, those happy moments with your friends. So uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe over there. Uh, love, peace, and peace and dirt. Okay. Bye! I know, but it's always nice to just like record everything in general. Okay, that's what you want personal, actually.